Hi, my name is Allison Atkinson and I've been a member of St. Michael's since our family moved to Raleigh over 16 years ago. At Interact, I've served on the board of directors, then as a volunteer, and now as an employee. For over 40 years, Interact has provided Wake County's only comprehensive services for survivors of domestic and sexual violence. Each year, nearly 10,000 individuals, women, men, and their children, reach out to Interact. Many are walking out of their homes and lives, often with just the clothes they were wearing, to start a courageous journey. And I know we have all seen references to the fact that during times of great economic strain and stress, violence tends to increase and intensify. Since the pandemic struck, we've had to reimagine almost every aspect of our services. We have increased our shelter space by 150% with support from the city and county, meanwhile converting from a congregant to a non-congregant shelter due to the contagious nature of the virus. Our shelter funding is only secured through December 31st. When we were no longer able to provide walk-in or in-person services, we seamlessly transitioned our crisis lines, individual and group counseling, and case management services to virtual platforms, and we added a chat feature to our website for those finding themselves in situations so where calls were not an option. Our Solace Center has been able to remain open and provide forensic exams and ongoing support and case management for individuals regardless of gender or sexual orientation during the sometimes years-long journey of healing after sexual assault. The good news is that we are a community with solutions and Interact is leading the way. But we cannot do this work without people like you willing to help us as we reimagine a future that meets the ever-changing needs of our community Thank you for your partnership.